the first world was a black world surrounded by four cloud columns white dawn on the east blue, blue daylight on the south yellow twilight on the west and black night on the north in the beginning only holy people and insects lived there later first man and first woman were formed in the first world first man was formed white black cloud on the north met white cloud on the east along with him was formed a perfect ear of white corn with 12 rows of kernels covering the whole ear first woman along with a perfect ear of yellow corn was formed where yellow cloud on the west met with blue cloud on the south the first world was destroyed when the gods became angry and set it on fire but first man brought a big reed and planted it in the east where it grew very quickly. All the creatures fled into big reed and escaped through it into the second world. In the first world, this is considered, it's, it's white, it's called an island. And on that island lived the chush. These are called chush. The black ants, are Wilijini Dene, the bee are called Sisna Dene, the wasp people Naazose Dene. This is considered a perennial locust and it's called Winishini. Navajo Grandma will not go into the in depth portion of the creation this is only the first world now we are in the fourth world this is a mythological story it's a myth it's not true to life and i need you to understand that and these are the myths of our of the navajo people and as we go through this this is the first world this is what serves the purpose for the continuing video about Spider Woman, Nash J. Astan, Spider Woman, and Spider Rock. According to Navajo legend, Spider Woman lives at Spider Rock in Canyon de Chez. She was first to weave the web of the universe. She taught the Navajos how to weave, how to create beauty in their own life, and to spread the beauty way teaching a balance within the mind, body, and soul. On the other hand, Spider Woman has a bit of a dark side, which we won't mention till later. In the Navajo creation story, the first world was small and pitch black. There were four seasons and an island. In the very middle of the island was a single pine tree. Ants, dragonflies, locusts, and beetles lived there and made up the air spirit people of the first world. If you can recall that white circle in the middle that we just discussed. The second world was known as Blue, where life was given to Spider Woman and Spider Man. Only their inner spirits or souls were made. Their physical bodies were made later to contain their spirits when they evolved into future worlds. In the third world, the Holy Ones advised Spider Woman that she had the capabilities of we weaving a map of the universe and the geometrical patterns of the spirit beings in the night sky. At first, she did not know what they meant and was not told how it could be done. Curiosity became her energy and driving force to learn to weave as the Holy Ones instructed. On a beautiful day when she was out on the land exploring and gathering food, she came upon a small young tree. She touched it with her hand, right hand and wrapped her fingers around one of its branches. As she was letting go, a string streamed out the center of her palm and wrapped around the tree branch. She was not quite sure what the string was. She thought if she kept wrapping the string around the branch, it might let go. Spider women started maneuvering and manipulating the string into various shapes. At this particular moment, she knew this was the weaving the holy people instructed her to do. Immediately, she broke the string with her left hand, 
Without hesitation, she sat and thought carefully about how to use her new gift. For the rest of the day, she sat close to the tree and wrapped the strings into various patterns on other branches of the small tree. The Holy Ones heard about Spider Woman's new talent and came to visit her. During the visit, the Holy Ones instructed Spider Man to construct a weaving loom and also create the tools used in the various processes of weaving. At this time, Spider Woman began to sing the weaving songs given to her by the Holy Ones. The songs empowered the weavings and the weaving tools. Now we will talk about Spider Woman's dark side. As little children, our Navajo elders and our, well, our grandparents, our grandfathers would warn us young children that Spider Woman is, was always looking out for mischievous and disobedient children. When she would find them, she spins them tight with her web and takes them to the top of Spider Rock. There she boiled them and she would eat them. Their leftover bones would melt in the sun and it would create the white bands at the very top of spider rock. So it would behoove us to be good little children. And though it sounds like a really ugly story, it made us think twice about being mischievous. The Diné or Navajo, as you might call them of today, live in the fourth world, known as the glittering world. Young weavers are instructed to find a spider web in the early morning, glistening with sunlight and sparkles. They are told to place the palm of the right hand upon the spider's webbing without destro destroying or damaging the web. At that moment, Spider Woman's gift of weaving enters the young weaver's spirit where it lives forever. And Grandma has not done that yet. Sheena sha, Sheena sha, Sheena sha, ya de hojone ya he, ne ya hojo je go, e na sha, hojo je go, e na sha, Sheena sha, Sheena sha, Sheena sha, ya de hojone ya he, ne ya. Ho George go e na sha Ho George go e na sha She na sha She na sha She na sha ya te ho jone ya hey ne ya